Welcome to Maritime Safety Talk Channel. Today, we're diving deep into the Solus Convention, the ultimate guide to maritime safety that has been keeping our seas secure for decades. Imagine a set of rules that ensures every ship, from colossal cruise liners to nimble cargo vessels, is equipped to handle emergencies and navigate safely. That's what Solus does. In this video, we'll unravel the mysteries of each chapter of the Solus Convention. Showcasing the latest technology and practices that make our oceans safer. We'll explore everything from the cutting-edge construction standards and firefighting innovations to life-saving equipment and advanced navigation systems. Whether you're a maritime pro or just passionate about safety at sea, you'll gain valuable insights into how Solus shapes the world of shipping. Join us as we break down these crucial regulations with real-world examples and insider tips. Get ready to discover how Solus is not just a set of rules, but a lifeline that ensures safety and efficiency on the high seas. Chapter 1. General Provisions Objective establishes the basic framework and definitions for maritime safety. Key Regulations defines terms such as ship, voyage and certificates, outlines the applicability of SOLAS regulations to different types of ships and voyages, establishes the responsibility of flag states to enforce SOLAS requirements, examples and insights, ensures that all international voyages are subject to SOLAS, regardless of the ship's nationality, requires ships to carry documentation proving compliance with SOLAS regulations, Chapter 2 1 Construction, Subdivision and Stability, Machinery and Electrical Installations. Objective focuses on the ship's construction to ensure stability and integrity. Key regulations Subdivision Ships must be divided into watertight compartments to prevent flooding. Stability Ships must maintain stability under various conditions such as loading and weather. Machinery Outline standards for machinery, including redundancy and maintenance. Electrical installations. Specifies requirements for electrical systems, including backup power sources. Examples and insights. Cargo ships are designed with multiple compartments to isolate damage from hull breaches. Emergency generators must be installed to power critical systems in case of main power failure. Chapter 2. 2. Fire Protection, Fire Detection and Fire Extinction. Objective. Establishes measures to protect ships from fire and smoke. Key Regulations. Fire Protection. Requires the use of fire-resistant materials and firewalls. Fire Detection. Mandates the installation of smoke and heat detectors throughout the ship. Fire Extinction. Provides guidelines for firefighting equipment, including sprinklers and extinguishers. Fire Drills. Requires regular fire drills for crew training. Examples and insights. Passenger ships must have fire-resistant doors and automatic sprinkler systems in cabins and public areas. Ships must conduct regular fire drills to ensure crew readiness in case of an actual emergency. Chapter 3. Life-saving appliances and arrangements. Objective. Ensures that ships are equipped for the safe evacuation of passengers and crew. Key regulations. Lifeboats. Requires sufficient lifeboats and life rafts for everyone on board. Life jackets. Mandates life jackets for all passengers and crew. Emergency equipment. Includes requirements for emergency signaling devices and survival equipment. Drills. Requires regular lifeboat drills and maintenance of life-saving equipment. Examples and insights. 
Her cruise ships must have enough lifeboats and life rafts to accommodate all passengers and crew. Emergency drills are conducted to familiarize everyone with evacuation procedures and equipment. Chapter 4. Radio Communications. Objective. Regulates the use of radio communications for safety and distress signaling. Key regulations. Communication equipment. Ships must be equipped with VHF radios, satellite communications and emergency beacons. Distress signals. Specifies the procedures for transmitting distress signals and alerts. Maintenance. Ensures regular testing and maintenance of radio equipment. Examples and insights. Container ships must have reliable communication systems to stay in contact with shore and other vessels. Emergency beacons must be tested regularly to ensure they function correctly in case of distress. Chapter 5. Safety of Navigation. Objective. Ensures safe navigation through the use of modern equipment and practices. Key regulations. Navigational equipment. Requires the use of radar, GPS and electronic charts. Collision prevention. Outlines practices and equipment to prevent collisions at sea. Voyage planning. Mandates proper voyage planning and route monitoring. Examples and insights. Tankers must use radar and GPS to avoid collisions and navigate safely through congested areas. Electronic chart systems help in planning routes and avoiding hazardous areas. Chapter 6. Carriage of Cargoes. Objective. Provide guidelines for the safe handling and stowage of cargo. Key regulations. Cargo stowage. Specifies how cargo should be stowed to prevent shifting and damage. Dangerous goods. Requires special handling and documentation for hazardous cargoes. Load limits. Outlines limits on cargo weight and distribution to maintain stability. Examples and insights. Bulk carriers must ensure cargo is evenly distributed to avoid instability. Dangerous goods must be clearly labelled and stored according to safety regulations. Chapter 7. Practices to avoid dangerous cargoes. Objective. Prevents the carriage of hazardous materials unless specific safety measures are in place. Key regulations. Prohibited cargoes. List certain dangerous cargoes that are prohibited unless specific conditions are met. Safety measures. Requires detailed safety plans and precautions for handling dangerous goods. Examples and insights. Ships carrying explosives must adhere to strict handling and stowage procedures. Proper documentation and training are required for crew handling dangerous cargoes. Chapter 8. Nuclear Ships. Objective. Set safety standards for ships powered by nuclear propulsion. Key regulations. Radiation protection. Requires measures to protect against radiation exposure. Safety systems. Mandate safety systems and regular inspections for nuclear reactors. Examples and insights. Nuclear-powered icebreakers must have shielding and monitoring systems to ensure radiation safety. Regular inspections ensure that nuclear safety systems are functioning properly. Chapter 9. Management for the safe operation of ships. Objective. Focuses on management practices to ensure ongoing safety and compliance. Key regulations. Safety Management Systems SMS. Requires operators to implement and maintain SMS for safety. Crew training. Mandates regular training and certification for crew members. Safety audits. Requires periodic audits to assess compliance with safety standards. Examples and insights. Shipping companies must develop SMS to manage safety risks and ensure compliance with regulations. Crew members receive regular training to handle emergencies and maintain safety standards. Chapter 8. Safety measures for high-speed craft. Objective. Provide safety regulations specific to high-speed vessels. 
Key regulations. Design standards. Requires specific design features to ensure stability and safety at high speeds. Operational procedures. Mandates safety procedures tailored to high-speed operations. Examples and insights. High-speed ferries must have specialized safety equipment and design features to handle rapid movements. Operational procedures ensure that high-speed craft can safely navigate and handle emergencies. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Solus and its critical role in maritime safety. If you found this video insightful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Maritime Safety Talk for more content on ship safety and regulations. Stay tuned for more updates and stay safe on the high seas.